Parents in Wyandotte already upset about a cell phone tower built on an elementary school became enraged tonight when the school superintendent wouldn't allow them to speak at a meeting. Mara McDonald is live in Wyandotte and Mara things got so chaotic there police were called. That's right, Kimberly. The police called and made everybody leave. Bottom line is this whole thing was billed as an informational meeting. Truly, it never got off the ground. Take a look. That's the moment Superintendent Catherine Cost walked out of the meeting to discuss the cell phone tower, which has sprung up on Washington Elementary School. The district entered into a deal with T-Mobile to allow the tower in return for $1,000 a month. Parents had no idea. We, as a school, we as a school, no, not we as a school, we as parents, not you, so make the decision for us. I'm not going to make that. Parents were told they could not speak tonight, but could submit no cards. They were having none of it. When the superintendent left the room, parents took over and order was restored. So this is not where one of these towers is supposed to exist. So as far as I'm concerned, T-Mobile's already in breach of their agreement with us, and we should terminate this contract immediately. The superintendent returned after the administration called the police. The superintendent is in charge of this meeting, and they're shutting it down. That's nothing that we can control. They want everyone out. And so they left. You know, for, for us to now find out what this monstrosity on top of the kids' elementary school is was, was truly shocking, and that's, I think, why you saw some of the animosity here tonight. To come in here thinking that we're going to be talking like adults and then to be treated like a child with these little rules that we had to follow. It's just ridiculous that the school can just do something like this of this magnitude and not want to have like any parents response or anything. Back here live, it's unclear what the school district is going to do next, but parents say they will pursue legal avenues if it comes to that. We're live at Wyandotte tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4.